Welcome back. We're burning our way through our tickets now here at Michelin. And we're going to be burning something else here. Some sparklers. With Yuna. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. Then turned in their ticket in exchange for some sparklers. This is so beautiful. Michelin Wonderland's famous for its fireworks displays. But I'm having plenty of fun with just these sparklers. Me too. Much more relaxed like this. Although I bet it would have been nice if your little brother and sister had tagged along. There's no way we could have dragged them away from that Mishy show. They were totally entranced. Oh. Looks like they're all burned out. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime, Instructor. The next time, I'll be sure to bring Ken and Nana too. That sounds great, Yuna. They safely disposed of the sparklers and promptly left the beach. They then parted ways, both having something they had to get back to for the evening. No, they didn't, because I'm sure that afterward, Reen decided to walk back with Yuna. They enjoyed the night air along the way, stretching out the evening as long as they could. And then... Um, Instructor Reen, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it, Yuna? It might have taken me a while to say this, but... When all's said and done, I'm glad I came to the Empire. Glad I became a part of Class 7. The more time I spent with everyone, the branch campus, the instructors, the old Class 7, the stronger my feelings got. I told myself I had to hold my head up high no matter what came my way. My pride as a cross bell and depended on it. I'll do whatever it takes to get us through tomorrow. To help us find the path that lies beyond. And that goes for you too, Instructor. It's not over until it's over. So don't give up. Not even for a second. I won't. Thanks, Yuna. We'll give it our all out there. Side by side. Yeah! Actually, there was something else I wanted to ask you. If you have some time later, maybe we could chat some more? Yuna. I know it's the last night before the war. I'm not sure I want to leave things like this, you know? If you do think you'd like to talk, contact me on the Arcus too. I'll be waiting. Come to think of it, I still haven't given her my answer. I feel the same as Yuna, I should contact her. But I don't. That one. Sucks for her. Right, what did we get, though? More strength. That's what we want. Daybreak Anima. Okay, Daybreak. CP gained 100%. Break damage 50%. HP, if that was strength... I mean, it's strength for 5,000. That would have been, like, over the top. But you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, so who do we want here, then? Hmm... Let's go with Alfin. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. They then turned in their ticket and got on the ferris wheel together. So sparkly under us. It is an amazing view. I could stay on this ride forever. Really glad you like it, Your Highness. I was worried that you'd find a slow ride like this boring. Actually, it's exhilarating. We're in a closed space just for you. And then there's this spectacular view. If I don't say something now, I my heart will jump from my chest. Your Highness. Tonight will be a night that I will never forget. Hope you'll invite me again when the Empire and the world are at peace again. Of course, I look forward to it. After offering them a spectacular view, the car gently lowered to the ground and came to a stop. Once they were back on their feet, they parted ways. They didn't, but they to attend their other plans for the night. 
they didn't, because afterward, you know. Again, it just seems so strange. He's like, actually, I've changed my mind. Decided to walk back with Alfin. Then enjoyed the night air along the way, stretching out the evening as long as they could. Until... Reen, it appears my thanks are in order. Thanks? What for, Your Highness? I was just thinking of how much you've done for me and my family. I mean, I plan to kill one of them, so... The number of times you and Elise have come to our aid are more than I can even count. Like with Cedric two years ago in the Infernal Castle. Or with Oliver and his radiant wings. You rescued my mother, and you visited my father in the hospital. I'm not really sure I can take credit for that one. But it is true that Elise and I have unbreakable ties to the house on all, as do my father's, uh, the both of them. Why don't we share this connection, not just as noble houses, but as people? As am I. I thank Adios every day for bringing you and Elise into my life. We in House Arner love you as one of our own. You must survive tomorrow. If not for us, then for Elise as well. And as for Cedric, I pray you help him come to his senses. Of course, Your Highness. I'm sorry, Elise, but I cannot hide how I feel. I just have one other thing to ask of you. Not as your Imperial Princess, but as nothing more than a normal girl. Oh? Might you spare a moment to speak with me once the festivities have ended? That is, unless you've already made plans with someone else. Such as Elise, perhaps. Your Highness. Contact me on your Arcus too, should you wish to meet. I'll be awaiting your call. God, the amount of girls that are going to be let down later, like, jeez. Your Highness already knows what's going on. She told me I didn't need to respond. If I do share her feelings, I should tell her so. Face to face. God, just, the amount of people just waiting by their arcuses being like, Is he gonna call? Is he gonna call? And then they, they don't get a call. Love! Animal, alright. 10,000 HP. But no. No, no, no. Right, so, let's actually go... Hmm... Go to the beach again. And I'm gonna go with the drinkable. Okay. I think that was the same as the original. Or wasn't it? Um Let's go and muse. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. Then turned in their ticket and started making a cocktail together. Alright, what a lot of ingredients for us to choose from, so now we just got to figure out where to start. You're a miner, so we'll have to make it non-alcoholic for sure. Oh, of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. I just can't wait to see how our little creation together will turn out. You're welcome to use the ingredients we have on hand, too. Can't wait to try your concoction. The two of them worked together to make a cocktail. They settled on which ingredients would complement the drink best through trial and error. And after a while, the creation was complete. What the hell? All done? I call this the Belaris Sea Float. Sherbet in blue soda, huh? What a refreshing take on a cocktail, or, well, mocktail, I suppose. But your vivid blue does remind me of Romulan A, uh, Belaris Sea, stretching ever out to the west. I'm sure it would be all the rage among the underage crowd in August this summer. In fact, the glass is edged with seaweed from Ordis, the port city, to curb some of the drink's sweetness. I think we have a masterpiece on our hands. Why don't I put two straws in it so we can enjoy a taste together, Instructor? Oh, but we already have got, we already got two drinks here, don't we? I can't see I'm not looking forward to getting a taste either way. I really like what you've done here. It's really unique. In fact, oh, I think I'll add it to our menu. Why don't you enjoy a glass together on that bench? Enjoy the rest of your evening. You say that every time, mate. It's not like it tastes nice, though. The two enjoy their special cocktail, while basking in the light of the lanterns and the sound of the waves filling their ears. But 
After a while, they parted ways and returned to what they had been doing. But they didn't. Did they, game? You were lying to me. Afterward, Reen decided to walk back with Musée. They enjoyed the night air along the way, stretching out the evening as long as they could. Until... Instructor Reen, allow me to apologize. Apologize for what? Back before we met, when Elise had told me about you, there was a part of me that thought of you as nothing more than a pawn to be played. You, the Ashen Chevalier, the young hero who saved the nation. Your past, your relationship with the Chancellor, all of it factored in my calculations, my plans to use you. Yeah, I'd guessed as much. Given your keen analytical mind, I'd been surprised if you hadn't thought of me like that. But now that you're telling me this, I assume that's all in the past now. Indeed. Ever since that evening two months ago at the field exercise camp. You and your classmates do have an effect on each other. You might be able to limit that, but you can't escape it. I'll be watching to see how that changes you. All of you. Those words of yours strike me just as deeply now as they did then. And strangely enough, tonight on the eve of Operation Meal Mirage, I don't feel even the slightest bit of fear. For that, <laughs> you have my sincerest gratitude and my deepest apologies as well. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Muse. Let me thank you as well. All the time we spent together. <sighs> Neither of us want to have to rely on this plan of yours. Let's do everything we can tomorrow to find victory on our own terms. Together. Yes! You have my word, Instructor Reen. And perhaps this is asking a bit much, but... I was wondering if you might have a bit of time to talk later. Huh? Of course, I'm sure you've already promise the night to your dearly beloved. But if you have a single moment to spare, maybe before or even after, just a bit is all I need. If I could see your face and hear your voice before tomorrow comes, I think I'll be able to rest easy. You say? If you do happen to have time later, please call me on my Arcus. If you don't, give me a call anyway. Then that much would be more than enough for me. Hmm. wonder if he still does. I wouldn't be able to bring myself to if I didn't. Decide if I can give Muse the answer she's looking for. We cannot. That just feels weird. ATS and ADF. Shining anima. Okay, what's the shining anima? Its ailments balanced down. Not too great in my head. Let's go with the sparklers again. Come on, Anton, get over there. We keep coming back here and I keep seeing you there. It's like, come on, mate. Alright, so... Let's go with... Ash. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. And turned in their ticket in exchange for some sparklers. Two guys are sparklers. That's a whole new kind of pathetic, don't you think? Something bothering you, Ash? Nah, I was just thinking back on... I went to the summer festival with my mum. Oh. That sounds like a good memory for you, though, right? Oh, let's cut the sappy stuff. Yeah, forget I said anything. Ah. Looks like they all burned out. Look, I guess if you want to do this again, I'm game. I don't want you to get all lonely without me or whatever. Just bring some real-ass fireworks next time, got it? <laughs> got it. Yes, yes, yes. We, 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 we know how this works. Afterward? Come on, afterward. Yes, we know. Until. Hey, Schwarzer. One last thing. What is it? You seem nervous. Well, this really might be the last time we see each other. I'm only going to say this once, though. So listen up. Thanks. Ash. 
Wow. Never heard you say that so earnestly before. <sighs> Don't make a big deal about it. Just figured it was the right thing to do with everything that's going to happen tomorrow. Joining up with you and all the other clowns in Class 7 ended up helping me find myself again. So I'm ready to settle some debts. For everything that happened 14 years ago, and all the crap I put us through too. There's someone else I owe too. A certain nosy as hell camp counselor who goes around carrying more than his share of burdens. In that case, allow me to thank you too. You're not the only one who has debts to settle with the Great Twilight. And we're going to do just that tomorrow, Ash. Let's show this curse we're stronger than it gives us credit for. <laughs> no need to tell me twice. You got my back and I got yours. That's character development there. Just think how he was towards him at the beginning. It became stronger. There's some strength. Lovely. Raw, raw, care, care. Get a great delay. Is that all? Is that all? Alright, let's go back to the horror coaster then. This might be the last time I do the horror coaster because that again, not, not a big fan on it. And it's sort of like, well, I can get all these others elsewhere, but I'm thinking because of who was outside, thing. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion, and turned in their ticket and got on the horror coaster together. Do -do 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 -do. So basically, all we have to do is shoot the ghost to raise our score, get enough points, and we win. It's a ghost hunting game, huh? Sounds like fun. Got to make for some good training, too. Let's give it a shot. So the two of you wish to brave the horrors, I see. I could only hope you manage to survive. Whoa. Died. Normal. Let's begin. If I did that, it's going to be annoying to hear, but I might get everything. If I did it enough, I'd probably get everything. Just have to know exactly where everything is, you see. So I know there's a thing coming here. Like there, gone. I'm missing that, oh jeez. Oh, I'm not shot <laughs> it. Almost had the damn thing. Almost, it's doable. Oh, my thumb is. No, we put it fucking aching. Oh. Bling. Almost. Ah, here's a good one. Phew, looks like we managed to hit our target goal. Not a bad performance, if I do say so myself. Good work, Ring. I'm just happy you had a good time. I know I did. Thanks for coming along for the ride. No need for thanks, just give me a shout next time you want to hang. You got it. Well, seeing as you're here, let's go for a stroll. Hey, Irene. Just wanted to tell you... Thanks... For everything. Me? I never would have made it this far if not for Sarah. Same goes for you and the rest of Class 7, too. Zeno, Leo, and the boss taught me a lot themselves, even before that. But now I can use all I've learned as a bracer. To protect instead of destroy. 
So tomorrow, I'll be giving it everything I got. No holding back. Don't worry, Reen. I'll keep you safe. No matter what. Thanks, Fink, but... All you've said for me goes for you, too. You know how to be stand unbroken. That's what it means to be a bracer, right? Let's do everything we can together. We won't let tomorrow slip out of our grasp. Got it. Not to think of it. Still haven't given her my answer. It's our last night together. Is this really how I want it to end? Yep. Like, yep. Yep, it is. Correct. Right, bond deepened. More strength. Falcon. Okay. Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. Evasion, 25% crit. Hmm. No, no, no. Let's go for the Ferris wheel. Do, 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 do. Okay, who we got now? Caduceus Emma. Let's go. Kurt. We took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. Then turned in their ticket and got on the Ferris wheel together. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Almost at the top. It's a long way down. It's a little strange for it to be just the two of us outside of training. Now you mention it, that's kind of true. Compared to when I first met you, you're so strong beyond recognition. You've grown so much as a person. As an instructor, I couldn't be happier to see how much all of you have matured. But it almost feels bittersweet in a way. <laughs> Maybe I'm being silly. Instructor. There are still so many things I want to learn from you. Please never stop training with me. Never. Kurt, uh, of course I won't. It's a bit forward. Yeah, we 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 know. Until. Instructor Reen, I'd like to thank you for everything. Oh, why now all of a sudden? There's no particular reason. This just seemed like an opportune moment. Whether it was over my training or because of Prince Cedric, whenever I felt lost, you were close at hand to lead me back to the right path. Under your guidance, I've managed to avoid losing sight of myself. Moreover, I've gained both the skill and resolve I once lacked. Tomorrow is the perfect chance to return the favor, to pay you back for all you've done for me. And so I swear, on the honor of the Vander name, I will protect you. Thanks, Kurt. we counting on you... out there. I swear to you too, on the name of the Eight Leaves One Blade, we'll get through tomorrow, side by side. Of course, Instructor. Swordsmen like us can strive for no less. As Reen and Kurt's bond deepened, they both became stronger. As we know, more strength! And waddy waddy what? Graving can. Again, that evasion would be nice, but it'd be nice on Kurt, but I don't really use him anymore. Right, so let's go down to the beach again. The drink one is the one I'm finding most interesting right now. I like, yeah, everyone's other favorite drinks and stuff like that. So it's like I'd want to see Kurtz as well, really. Reen took out his Arcus and caught up his chosen companion. Like, we, we, we know. Alright, I bought uh, a lot of ingredients for us to choose from. So now we've just got to figure out where to start. Got a lot of room to flex our creativity here. Let's just see what we can make, Reen. You're welcome to use the ingredients we have on hand too. Can't wait to try your concoction. 
two of them worked together to make a cocktail. He set on which ingredients would complement the drink best through trial and error. After a while, the creation was complete. Mm, I don't know. Here we are. I call it an Erin Vermouth. Vermouth? There's a really fresh aroma to it. It'd be from the Erin flowers I used to give it a light tone. Tone works. I had a sprig of mint as well. It doesn't have too sharp of a taste to overwhelm the drink. In fact, the mint helps to bring out the flower's flavor. You can taste the nectar's natural sweetness. That was really refreshing for sure. Really like what you've done here. It's really unique. In fact, I think I'll add it to our menu. Why don't you enjoy a glass together on the bench? Enjoy the rest of your evening. I think it's only uses we've got left after this, right? I'll check them all after this. The two who enjoyed their special cocktail while basking in the light of the lanterns sent the waves filling their ears. While parted ways and returned to what they had been doing. One of them strengthened. We know how that works now at this point. Until... Reen, I know this has been a long time coming, but I wanted to thank you. Emma? Being with all of you has taught me something. I don't have to be my sister, or my grandmother, or even my mother. I can be a witch in my own right, in my own way. Of course, I still have a lot more to learn before I actually get there. But still, I believe in myself. I believe I'll make it through tomorrow alongside everyone else, and one day become the witch I know I can be. This world of ours won't end. The future will come. And it'll be one I can spend with you. I couldn't ask for anything more, Emma. Side by side, we'll continue to grow and improve. Me with my sword, and you with your staff. The others, too. We work together, not even the Great Twilight will stand a chance. Right. This could be our final night. Is this really how I want it to end? Leave it at that. It's like, oh, it feels harsh. It feels harsh. Yeah, we know how that works. ATS, that's good for Emma. Wisdom. It's gonna be ATS based, right? Yeah, time to cast by 50%. Okay, so let's go to the first wheel, see who we've got left. Because that's the one that's got everyone, hasn't it? I feel like it's just useless. If it's just useless, I'll do the drink one, because he's on that list, isn't he? Yeah, it's just useless left on the list, isn't it? Still got a few things left over that we can use though, we'll be doing that in the next part, I feel. Let me just check the sparklers though. Yeah, because it's useless as well there. Alright. Gonna be trying to use up the rest on terror as well in the next part. Da -da -da. Wait, you're not part of that? I would have thought useless would have been there. Alright, we'll take this one down here then. Just because of the fact, um, T. Yeah, just feels like it would have been him, but here we go. Reen took out his Arcus, caught up his chosen companion. And Millium's there as well! Aww! Hey, Millium, don't get too close to the sparklers. Yeah, oh, but I can't help it, they're just so pretty. Thanks for inviting me, Reen. Of course, I think we make a pretty good little trio. Just wish you could have gotten one too. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You just can work that sparkler for the both of us, isn't that right? Hmm. Like I have any other choice. Oh. Looks like they've all burned out. Well, there are many more things to be enjoying tonight. I hope we get another opportunity to spend time together. Yeah, definitely. Us three should hang out again for sure. You bet, it's a date. Yeah, safely dispose of the sparklers until and then he said ooh Reen I realize I've put off saying this for quite some time but I've always considered you a dear friend of mine Usus I lost my mother when I was young my father was arrested during the civil war and my brother well we know the path he's gone down yeah and then there's Millium. 
The fact that she's still there within the sword is more of a blessing than I could have hoped for. Despite all that's happened and all I've lost, I can yet stand tall with pride. I owe that to all of Class 7, and to you most of all. You have my thanks, Reen, for everything. Useless, I was expecting you to say that, but it's been exactly the same. We have a long road ahead of us tomorrow. Let's get through it together, the Millium and the countless others who've helped us along the way. <laughs> but of course, that much goes without saying. Indeed. Alright, so we got more strength there. Good. And a glow cairn. A glow cairn. CP gained 100%. Eh, could have been good, could have been good. Alright, so, let's just double check. We check these ones here. We know the Ferris wheel. Let's castle and mirrors. Like I, I mean, it's only got a small list, doesn't it? So, yeah, right, and we've done the Selene's one. Bye. You know, just reloading save. So, uh, let's check the horror coaster just to be sure. Make sure we've got everyone sorted. Right, everyone there. So, we've got three more things we can do. And I think we've got, we've got Toa here. So I want to do Toa's one. So we've got Toa here. We've done the Ferris re reel. Ferris wheel already with Toa. So we've got... And I know we can do the T. So we've got two we can use for Toa there. So we've got Toa's there. Do we have a Toa with a... Sparkler. No, we don't. So I'm thinking... Because so I'm intrigued by the concoctions they come up with. Thinking maybe we go... Laura here. So we go Laura Toa Toa. On the ones we've got left. Just to get a few more tickets from stuff we've done. But that's us done for this part. And the next part we'll do that. And then go see about those red exclamations around the place. Basically start getting on with the story, I suppose. So we'll see them. Ta-da. For now.